All right, so I really like this county line log splitter. Um, moving it out to where I split wood to the woodshed where all the wood's piled is uh, not fun. Um, it is movable, it is doable, but if, and if I was only rolling it on concrete, flat concrete, it'd be fine. Um, it has a nice handle here that you can lift with, but it's a little bit far back. I get a little bit more leverage all the way out here, so I was putting my finger, even without gloves, it was fine. It's nice and smooth, comfortable under there. Um, and But my back just isn't going to keep doing that. So um, what I did was I went down to Tractor Supply today and picked up this uh, it's trailer transporter. It's a trailer dolly is all it is. And the brand is Carry On right there. And I really wanted the adjustable one that has a post that slides up and down so you can move the ball up and down to any height you want for any trailer you want. Um, but that one was $100, I want to say, and there another was another one for $150. And the one for $100 got bad reviews because wheels breaking, and I don't know if people were overloading it or trying to move their you know, yacht or whatever, but, and it sounds like some people weren't, they were moving glider stuff, and then they did fine until they turned, and the wheels, the wheels actually broke, so I didn't see any reviews on this one about wheels breaking, um, but I did see that it was a, kind of a pain in the butt to put together, so people that were putting it together said the holes didn't line up, da 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 uh, I had to hammer it and bang on it, and tw and I didn't have a problem like that at all. It, uh, all the bolt holes lined up perfectly. It went together just like it said it would. Uh, the issue I had with it, though, was um, it's only one height, so you can tip it to get it underneath your trailer ball or your hitch, but the problem is um, this leg here hold it up, held the hitch up too high. And so I'd put the ball underneath it, and the ball would sit down here where my finger is, and I'd have to still lift it up, flip that up, and then set it down on the ball, and then roll it. And the least I have to lift this thing, the happier my back is. So um, so I thought, well, maybe I'll spend more money on a more adjustable one and take this one back. But then I thought, well, heck, I'll just modify it because it's just metal anyway, and I can get new wheels if they break, and I'll just keep fixing it if it breaks. No big deal. Um, but... So when I'd slide it under here and I'd try to lift it, it wouldn't. It obviously wasn't tall enough. So I decided to just go ahead and modify it. So what I did was, you can see on this original one, and this is how, when I put it together, it has this little A-frame right here. And that's where the ball hit sits on top of, okay? So that is right here. So here's the A-frame. That's where the ball used to sit. And I used some 3 16 flat and just put two sides. Um, a piece across here that's 3 16 I already ha actually had a hole drilled in it, so I was really happy. I just cut it and uh, welded it up. And then I used a piece of 1 8 strap uh, going back here, and I welded it across there, and then welded it here and here on the top and bottom. So these are all welded on the inside and the outside, inside, outside, inside, outside here. And I also welded this piece to the bottom of the A-frame before I put this on. I should have said that to begin to begin with. Um, I had the ball on here tightened down and I just went ahead and welded the sides and the end here um, just to hold it in place. And now it has a lift kit. This is six inches tall and um, it's two and a half inches wide here. And so it works really well. This does come with a one and seven eighths ball, which is perfect because that one and seven eighths will fit in anything then. Um, and so now with this, and I'm glad I didn't make it any shorter because I thought I'll make it four inches, I don't make it too tall, but I made it six and it's really just enough to get it up off the ground. So now we'll roll it in here and we'll have to tip it kind of high, tip it kind of far. And I'm just doing this with one hand, so there it is up off the ground. So it only raised it up about three inches maybe, so that's enough for me to, I hope, flip it over. I haven't tried that yet, let's try it, see what happens. So that was just enough. So now I can roll it around, and this thing is so nice. It's just, whoo, makes moving this thing around easy peasy. You can turn it any direction you want, park it anywhere you want. Right now I'm just parking in the back of the garage until I can get it out in one of the sheds. So that's the modification for this carry-on uh, trailer dolly. And well, for my other trailer, it actually has a jack on it, so a wheeled jack, so I can lower it or raise it, and I can set it on top of that. I still don't think it's going to be tall enough for that trailer, but it's tall enough for this. It gets it up off the ground, and um, now I can roll it out to wherever I'm working. Okay, so you have to push that forward and then flip this like 
fat. And that's plenty of space for it to Okay. Voila. So that's what it looks like. I originally was planning on getting some fenestrated or some 2x2 two two interior diameter or exterior, whichever I could whichever I could find, with holes in it, and then drop another 2x2 two two square tubing inside of it, and then put the ball on top of that so I could adjust it up and down. And I may still do that, but this is working for its purpose right now. It's going to save my back, and... Um, that's the modification for right now.